Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and in this video we're going to take a look at the CDI 450 from Philips. Um, first thing that I noticed and that you probably noticed as well is that this box got mangled by the retailer. And I hate it when retailers do that because for extra commercial value etc. But this just sucks. They put a big sticker on the front that says this box has been controlled um, or controlled uh, has been um, revised and added. Uh, there has been a uh, a card added by the CDI Gold Club. I don't care, just don't mess with my box. But yeah, it's too late now. So the CDI, it's a famous, uh, yeah, flop is the good word for it. It's a famous flop console by Philips. It says, play your favorite games, enjoy stereo music with the fidelity of audio CD, learn with today's most exciting medium for information. Watch and edit your family album on TV with Photo CD, add CDI digital video cartridge for digital quality movies, music videos and advanced power games. So, yeah. Do you know any good CDI games? I don't. There are, actually there are some that are okay I believe. But none of them are, uh, in my opinion, worth getting this CDI. But if you're a console collector, um, yeah, it's a nice addition to your collection. And there's always the rare CDI games like Zelda's Adventure. So what do we have? This is a golf game, Kether, Escape from Cyber City, Tennis, um, can't read that, something on their own, Content Encyclopedia. So it just shows that you have digital video entertainment, um, yeah, tracker ball controller, IO port splitter, different remote controls, children games, remote roller controller for your children games, touchpad controller for the normal games, and um, yeah, your CDI does everything. So this is the must have. Not really. Let's pop it open and see what they put into this box of horror. The styro has some damage, as you can see. This is not supposed to be missing. But still, it's in quite good condition considering most of these are in bad condition. I'm gonna get these out and show you. The reason that most of these things got manhandled and basically just thrown away is because it wasn't really considered a console but also a video player. And yeah, do you keep the box of your VCR player or DVD player or what you had back in the day? Probably not. So that's why a lot of these boxes are missing. First thing first, we have a tutorial disc and a CDI, everything about CDI. So how do you control it, what can you do, etc. It's more like demo discs. Then when we take off the top, there's your worldwide guarantee. I'm not going to scroll through that with you guys. And there's a folder which has a lot of paperwork. Let's see what we have. Stop! Read me first. Okay, why would I read you first? because this is a scheme on how to hook up your uh, CDI. So you take it out of the box, you see what's inside, you hook it up, and when your TV doesn't have this card input, you can contact your dealer. And uh, yeah, it's basically just a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to connect and how to play your CDI. Then the manual for the console itself. Oh, it's actually a fold-out. And it's the same thing over and over in just different languages. Then some commercial stuff. <coughs> Sorry about that. Philips Plus services. So you could uh, yeah, sign up. And what did you get? Let's see. Oh, it's just to repair. It's not like you got free software or anything. It's just repairs. This is your answer card to get to your Philips Plus that I just showed. The CD for your TV. This is just a bunch of stuff that you can get on your CDI. So it wasn't focused on games at all. Games were not the main focus. Uh, this is... Uh, oh, this is, yeah, how do you translate that? Back in the day in the Netherlands when you bought something new, uh, electronics, you had to pay in order to um, to uh, get rid of it because when you wanted to get rid of it there was a fee on uh, on getting it uh, yeah, demolished etc and these are the fees plus the, the fees you had to pay for that Philips Plus uh, stuff and this is your guarantee card so up here this is um, 
actually still sealed and I'm not really sure what's in here hmm. don't really know then we have the controller this is your pointer controller it's not one of the best controllers this is a huge power lead it's not quite heavy so it's a lot of space for only not that many content and has a really strange connector like UTP like internet cable why not just use a regular connector that everyone has that you can replace the connector if it's broken here's your RGB, RGB or um, SCART or um, compo composite connector and last the CDI itself so this is model 450 there's a lot of different models there's the 210 the 220 and a bunch more and this is with a CD tray that just has to click down there you have the CD player and the thing is that most people don't know that if you pop these lids here try and do that with one hand in the air is hard but there is your connector for the video cartridge and the video cartridge that goes in this console is different than the one that goes in the 210 or 220 model because this is the smaller one here you have controller port 1 there's only one controller port on this one actually here's the on off button on the side no controller ports there some of the CDI's have one controller port on the front and one on the back but this one only has one so no two player games you are just a single player that's where the DC in goes this is for DC out no clue why we, you would use that and this is the audio and video plugs so that's the CDI 450 um, like I said not a great console but it's a nice piece of history if you want to see more unboxings check out my channel because there's hundreds of them also a lot of other retro game related videos uh, like me on facebook.com slash drretromd to stay up to date on everything and I hope to see you again next time thanks for watching bye bye